right, Ethan, let's take a look over here so you can see this. Oh, man, I always have another name now. <laughs> I know, it's getting almost annoying now, isn't it? All right, so when I'm looking up here, ladies and gentlemen, remember, when we're trying to do elimination, when we're trying to do elimination, it's essential that we have the same number as our coefficient. So for our x's, do we have the same number in front? Do we have the same number in front? No, I have a negative 2 and a positive 7, right? Yeah. And for the y's, do I have the same number in front? No, I have a 15 and a 5. So what I'm going to do, to do elimination, either by addition or subtraction, we have to get the same number in front. Now, there's multiple ways you could do this. What you need to do is you need to look for the least common multiple between your two coefficients. So if you don't have the same, look for the least common multiple. Between, be, be, forget, about the, forget about the signs. I don't care about the signs right now. But the least common multiple between 2 and 7 is 14. Right? This is the smallest number that those two numbers both go into. Meaning, to get them both to be 14, I'd have to multiply this by 7 and this by 2, which is a lot of work. We could do it, but let's see if there's an easier way to get our uh, 15 and 5 to be the same number. And I look at 15 and 5, the lowest common multiple between 15 and 5 is 15. I don't need to do anything to get 15 to be 15. All I need to do to get this negative 5 for 15 is to multiply by 3. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I multiply the bottom equation by 3. Remember, it's an equation, so you have to multiply everything times 3. Therefore, I rewrite the top again. Negative 2x plus 15y equals negative 32. 3 times 7x is um, 21x. 3 times 5y is negative 15y. And 3 times 7 is going to be 17. 34 is going to be uh, 51. Now, do you guys see what I just did? Now what we do is we have the same coefficient, one's positive, one's negative. So when we have the exact same coefficient with opposite signs, we can use elimination by n. Okay? So it's hard, I understand. You're going to have to pick a variable that you can get to have the same coefficient. Now I simply add, I get 19x. That becomes 0y equals 19. 19x equals 19. Divide by 19 x equals 1. Now that I know the value of 1, I plug that back into one of my equations. It doesn't matter which one you do, but you got to make sure you plug at 1 in for the x. Negative 2. So what I'll do, um, that becomes negative 2 plus 15y equals negative 32. Add 2. 15y equals negative 30. Why? Wasn't that good? Oh, nice to put hey, what's that last number? That is a y equals a negative 2. I'm sorry. That's uh, a negative you thought you were on some thought I was trying to be. So y equals negative 2, x equals 1. Okay? I went through this, guys, really quickly because this is just solving. This is just plugging in and solving. Stuff we've been working on for over and over and over and over. All right? But ladies and gentlemen, it's just, it is long. And guess what? Here's how you want to speed it up. 